NASA's Webb Space Telescope captured new images of a horse-shaped nebula. Minutes ago, astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope discovered a galaxy in the Orion Nebula that is a trillion times more massive than our sun and 10 times bigger than the Milky Way. It's been less than two years since then, but JWST has proven to be an endless source of incredible discoveries. This is just one of six gigantic galaxies found. And they're so ancient, they appear to only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Way faster than we ever thought possible. Could everything we thought we knew about the Dark Ages be wrong? Let us dive into what these mind-blowing discoveries could mean for our story of the cosmos. Cosmic Giants in the Orion Nebula the galaxies that look like six bright red dots in space are some of the oldest and largest galaxies we've ever seen, dating back nearly 13.3 billion years. These galaxies formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, which is much faster than we thought possible. Until now, experts believed that it took much longer for such massive cosmic structures to develop. But here they are, already enormous and full of new stars shortly after the universe's birth. One of these galaxies is especially surprising. It's a trillion times more massive than our Sun, and 10 times larger than the Milky Way. This immense size and mass so early in the universe's history suggests that the so-called dark ages of the cosmos might have been more active and bright than we once thought. But that's not all. Astronomers are also looking at an exoplanet named K218b, which might have the right conditions for life. The James Webb Space Telescope found water vapor in its atmosphere and detected molecules like methane and carbon dioxide. These molecules, along with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and possible water oceans, make it a good candidate for life. Even more interesting, they found dimethyl sulfide, a compound usually produced by living organisms on Earth, hinting that this exoplanet could indeed support life. Expanding our knowledge further, astronomers have also found a remarkable alignment of galaxies. Just 830 million years after the Big Bang, 10 galaxies were found lined up like beads on a string. This surprising discovery gives us a visual snapshot of our universe's early days and challenges our current ideas about how galaxies form and arrange themselves. These findings by the James Webb Space Telescope are changing how we see the universe. Each discovery not only adds to our cosmic story, but also changes what we know about the universe's origins and early development. The implications are huge, suggesting that the universe's earliest periods were far more dynamic and complex than we previously thought. But this isn't the end of the surprises. With each new discovery, we are reminded of how little we know and how much there is still to learn. The universe continues to amaze us, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and inspiring a sense of wonder. The cosmic structure we're talking about spans over 3 million light years and is centered around a super bright quasar, a galaxy with a massive black hole at its core. This fascinating line of galaxies might eventually form a giant galaxy cluster, similar to the well-known Coma Cluster. In the early universe, supermassive black holes already existed. These massive cosmic objects grow by absorbing nearby stars, gas, and dust. The James Webb Space Telescope has shown us these huge black holes from the universe's early days, capturing images from when they had just started devouring their surroundings. Interestingly, it has also seen the farthest black hole ever detected in X-rays, located in a galaxy named UHZ-1. This black hole is an incredible 13.2 billion light years away from Earth, so we see it as it was just 470 million years after the Big Bang. Its mass is estimated to be between 10 million and 100 million times that of our Sun, which is amazing considering this is like the combined mass of all the stars in its galaxy. Let's dive deeper into space to see more wonders beyond our solar system, the luminous edge of the Horsehead Nebula. Closer to us, the Horsehead Nebula, or Barnard 33, is about 1,300 light years away from Earth. With the James Webb Telescope, astronomers have been able to see the small scale structures at the lit up edge of this nebula for the first time. The nebula shines because of light from a nearby hot star, even though it formed from a collapsing interstellar cloud. While the surrounding gas clouds have mostly scattered, its famous pillar-like shape remains due to denser material. However, it's estimated to last only another 5 million years before it starts to fade. These advanced observations help astronomers understand how dust particles are pushed away from the cloud by UV light, creating intricate patterns in space. Then, there's the aftermath of a supernova in the constellation of Copia, about 11,000 light-years away which exploded around 3,140 years ago. 
the remnants are still visible, fascinating astronomers with the warm dust crucial for planet formation and the birth of life. This dust, made of heavy elements like sulfur, oxygen, argon, and neon, was expelled during the supernova. It glows in beautiful orange and pink colors, giving us a rare look into the building blocks of the universe. In the vastness of space, tiny fragments cut through the gas, looking like cosmic bullet holes. This isn't just a cool visual, it's also important scientifically. We see something called light echoes, which happen when light from a supernova is absorbed and then re-emitted as infrared light by nearby cosmic material. Far away in the Serpent's Nebula, about 1,300 light years from Earth, there's a huge area where new stars are born. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has spotted some fascinating things here. One of the discoveries is jets of gas from young stars, which are uniquely aligned in a way we've never seen before. Another interesting find is the Bat Shadow, a planet-forming disk that looks like a flapping bat. In our Milky Way galaxy, the telescope's near-infrared camera has given us the clearest image yet of the Sagittarius Asterisk region. This area is about 300 light-years from the galaxy's supermassive black hole. The image shows about 500,000 stars and some strange, needle-like structures in ionized hydrogen that don't fit with current astronomical theories. There's also a cluster of young stars still forming, adding more mystery to the list of celestial wonders. In the Orion Nebula, around 1,350 light-years away, a new type of celestial body called Jumbos has been found. These are free-floating planetary mass binary systems, meaning they are pairs of objects with masses ranging from 0.6 to 14 times that of Jupiter. They aren't tied to any star and drift freely in space. Astronomers used the Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array to study one of these systems, known as Jumbo 24, using radio waves. This shows how modern astronomy is revealing amazing new details about our universe. We picked up steady signals from both parts of a binary star system. This was surprising because big stars usually don't form or stay in pairs. It's amazing to think about the huge forces at play in keeping such a pair together in the vastness of space. The focus then shifted to the complex process of star formation. Scientists have always found it hard to study how stars are born because these events happen in thick clouds of gas and dust that block visible light. But the James Webb Telescope changed everything. It can see infrared light, which goes through these dusty clouds, letting us see details of star formation we never saw before. Our space journey now shows us how stars are born and evolve. The dance of gas and stars in Rho Ophiuchi. For example, the Rho Ophiuchi cloud complex, only 390 light years away, has been observed in great detail. The telescope captured a frozen moment of a stellar explosion, showing around 50 young stars, many of which are about the same size as our Sun. Without the James Webb Telescope, these stars would have stayed hidden, like looking at a blank black picture. The telescope also found dozens of young, small stars shooting out fast streams of gas and particles. These streams light up the surrounding hydrogen clouds, giving us more clues about how stars form. Then, there's the Ring Nebula, or M57, located in the Lyra constellation about 2,500 light-years away. The James Webb Telescope gave us amazing new details. It showed that the ring has about 20,000 clumps of molecular hydrogen, and the inside is full of super-hot gas. The nebula's main shell has a thin ring of carbon-based molecules called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which make it glow beautifully. Astronomers also found 10 rings outside the main ring of the nebula. They think these rings were made by a dying star's gas interacting with a smaller companion star. As the smaller star moved through the gas, it created ripples, showing us how dynamic and lively these celestial features are. In 2023, a groundbreaking discovery was made, a distant galaxy named Jade's GSA 14. This galaxy is notable not just for its distance, but also for its unexpected brightness. Usually, galaxies this far away aren't so bright, making this discovery very important for our understanding of the universe. This galaxy pushes the limits of what we know about the structure and formation of galaxies at the edge of the observable universe. GSZ-130 came into being about 320 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy, however, existed even before that, spanning a vast 1,600 light years across. The light we see from it isn't due to a supermassive black hole, but shines brightly because of young stars. 
This galaxy has a mass several hundred million times that of our Sun. Plus, the presence of oxygen in its light shows that many massive stars have lived and died long before we ever noticed this cosmic giant. In another part of the universe, scientists found a new planet called TOI 7115b, located 137 light years away. This planet might be a good candidate for supporting life. It orbits a red dwarf, a smaller and cooler star than our Sun, often surrounded by rocky planets. Its position around its star places it in the habitable zone, where liquid water, a key ingredient for life, might exist. TOEI 7115b completes its orbit every 19 days, much faster than Earth's orbit around the Sun. This quick orbit makes it easier for astronomers to study and increases the chances of finding similar planets nearby. Next is the discovery of the ghostly jellyfish in a galaxy cluster known as Abel 2877. This cosmic jellyfish spans over 1 million light years and is visible only in a narrow band of radio light. Scientists think it might be a radio phoenix, bright at standard FM frequencies, but disappearing at 200 MHz. It's the largest structure seen in this specific frequency range. It likely formed due to a massive cosmic explosion, like a black hole outburst, which fades over millions of years. Another big cosmic event, such as a galaxy collision, can reignite it, causing it to light up brilliantly in specific radio frequencies, while vanishing in others. Within the beautiful views of the Orion Nebula, scientists using the James Webb Space Telescope made another amazing discovery, a new carbon compound called methylation. This is the first time this molecule has been found in space, opening up new ways to understand cosmic chemistry and the building blocks of life beyond Earth. Next, we explore strange new worlds and surprising space phenomena, echoes of life in the Orion Nebula. In the vastness of space, about 1,350 light years away in the Orion Nebula, astronomers found something interesting in a young star system called DDD 2356. This compound is important for creating more complex carbon-based molecules, which are essential for the beginning of life. Despite the strong UV radiation from nearby young stars, which usually destroys complex organic molecules, this harsh light might actually be helping to create methylation. This process could be a key step in forming even more complex carbon structures, hinting at the possibility of life in such tough conditions. On the dwarf planet Ceres, located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, there's a volcano that doesn't fit the usual fiery image, called Ahuna Mons. This volcano is an icy marvel, erupting with cold materials like ice and salts instead of lava. This is especially surprising because Ceres was once thought to be geologically dead. Ahuna Mons is a cryovolcano, a rare type that erupts with cold stuff. This kind of volcano isn't unique to Ceres. It's also found on other moons in our solar system, like Enceladus, Europa, and Triton, adding a fascinating twist to planetary geology. In another part of space, Comet Lovejoy presents a sight that seems almost too strange to be real. When it came closest to the Sun in January 2015, it wasn't just water that the comet was releasing. Scientists were surprised to discover that Lovejoy was also releasing a lot of alcohol, about 20 tons of water per second. This discovery made Comet Lovejoy not just one of the brightest and most active comets seen recently, but also a floating source of cosmic spirits. When looking deeper into the findings from the Orion Nebula, researchers noticed that the formation of complex molecules was happening in ways they hadn't expected. Despite the odds, life-supporting compounds were forming in a place bombarded with harsh radiation, making scientists rethink how life might start elsewhere in the universe. On Ceres, the presence of cryovolcanoes suggests that there might be more geological activity on dwarf planets and moons than previously thought. The icy eruptions of Ahuna Mons imply that there could be subsurface oceans or reservoirs of liquid beneath the icy surface, which could potentially harbor life. Comet Lovejoy's alcohol emissions open up new questions about the chemical processes that occur in comets. The presence of alcohol and other organic molecules suggests that comets might play a crucial role in delivering the ingredients for life to other parts of the solar system. The discovery in the Orion Nebula shows that even in the most unexpected and harsh environments, the building blocks of life can form. This challenges our understanding of where and how life might exist beyond Earth. Ceres and its cryovolcano, Ahuna Mons, remind us that even small and seemingly inactive worlds 
can hold surprises. The potential for subsurface oceans on Ceres adds a new dimension to the search for extraterrestrial life. Comet Lovejoy's unexpected alcohol release makes scientists wonder what other secrets comets hold. These celestial bodies could be key to understanding the origins of life in our solar system and beyond. At its peak, a comet threw out materials, including alcohol, into space with such force that it was like throwing out 500 bottles of wine every second. This strange event isn't just interesting for wine lovers. It suggests that comets might have brought important ingredients for life to Earth. In the middle of our Milky Way galaxy, there's a huge natural particle accelerator that sends out beams of charged particles, called cosmic rays, almost as fast as the speed of light. But recent studies have found something surprising. Despite all the activity, many of these cosmic rays are somehow stopped from entering the center of the galaxy. Scientists think this might be because of complex magnetic fields around the supermassive black hole at the galaxy's center, known as Sagittarius A. As we go further, we find places where life might start, surrounded by familiar shapes. PDS-70's Water Discovery Elsewhere in space, the James Webb Space Telescope made a big discovery around a young star system called PDS-70, which is in the middle of forming planets. This star system, which is only 5.4 million years old, has water vapor, a key element for making rocky planets like Earth. The water vapor, heated to about 330 degrees Celsius, was found not far from the star. This suggests that water could be forming in the star system itself, or coming from icy dust particles that heat up and turn into vapor as they move closer to the star. This discovery means that any planets forming in the system could have water from the start, creating a good environment for life. In a fun but important observation, astronomers have seen a nebula in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a galaxy about 163,000 light years away, that looks a lot like the video game character, Pac-Man. This nebula, called N63A, is the result of a star exploding. The nebula's shape, which looks like Pac-Man, surrounds newly formed stars that look like the dots Pac-Man chases in the game. Despite its playful look, N63A is a young nebula that could potentially form new stars as it changes, giving scientists more information about the life cycle of stars and the dynamic processes in galaxies. In space, about 1,300 light years away from Earth, there is an amazing star system called GW Orionis. This system is special because it has a planet that orbits not one, not two, but three stars at the same time. Picture a giant target in space, surrounded by three dusty rings. In the middle of this target, three stars are at the center. Two stars are closely orbiting each other, while the third star moves around them in a wider circle. Scientists have been watching the system closely and noticed that the rings are slightly tilted. They think this could mean there is a huge planet about the size of Jupiter, hidden in these rings. If they are right, it would be the first planet ever found to orbit three stars. Closer to us, just 11 light years away, is another fascinating world called Ross 128b. This planet, which is a bit bigger than Earth, orbits the star Ross 128. What makes Ross 128b so interesting is that it's in the habitable zone of its star, where conditions might allow liquid water to exist. Liquid water is important because it's essential for life as we know it. The star Ross 128 is smaller and cooler than our Sun, which might make Ross 128b a good place for life. Scientists think that even though Ross 128b gets more sunlight than Earth, it could still have a similar climate, possibly with clouds high up in its atmosphere reflecting some of the extra light. How do these findings change your view of the universe's mysteries? Do they make you more curious or skeptical about our cosmic origins? Don't forget to like, leave your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more.